Angela is a mother of two, a wife and a professional career woman and is enthusiastic about educating women towards their financial freedom. Born and bred in Cape Town and well-traveled, she settled back to raise her family in the place that makes her heart the happiest. She loves the ocean and spends her free time swimming, diving and attempting to surf. Well qualified with a Bachelor of Business Science degree with honors in finance from UCT, a postgraduate diploma in financial planning and her CFP designation, she derives immense satisfaction from seeing how comprehensive and professional advice benefits her clients. Have you ever presented to a group of powerful, wealthy women, really wealthy women, and told them what to do with their money? As I stepped onto the podium at my very first event planned for female executives, my heart was beating. These are powerful, intelligent women. They don't need me to tell them how to manage their financial affairs. I'd be stating the obvious, right? I give a brief summary of the family office approach to wealth management, tell a few stories, tie it all together with a picture diagram, presentation done. <sighs> Time to mingle. The first woman approaches me. She has no idea where her will is or whether she has invested in a retirement annuity. The second woman has no idea where or how her assets are invested and needs me to do a full analysis. The third woman, same story. About a week after the event, one of these women, a brain surgeon, comes to see me at my office. And through the entire meeting, she keeps apologizing for not understanding anything about the financial world. It was in that moment that I realized my story does matter and that I can empower these women. My answer to her, if I need brain surgery, I was not going to attempt to do it myself. I would contact a professional like her because I have no idea how the brain works. In my role as wealth manager, I become involved in various stages of my client's life. Marriage, a new job, a new baby, and unfortunately also death and divorce. When I met Anne about a year ago, she was nearing retirement. COVID had taken its toll on an already strained marriage and she was getting a divorce. The kids had left the house and she'd never been involved with the family's financial planning. She needed me to help her start fresh. We made sure that she had short-term insurance on her home and car. We adjusted her will and most importantly, made sure that her investments were structured in such a way that she would have a steady cash flow for the rest of her life. I assisted her lawyer with the correct figures for the divorce settlement, as well as transferring those assets from her ex-husband. My job was to make sure that all the admin and financial worry was taken care of. And watching the relief on her face as she realized that everything had been taken care of is why I do what I do. When I met Anne, her husband had just passed away in a tragic accident. This young dynamic businesswoman was now a single mom of two small children. Although very astute at work, she had no idea what the future was going to bring because like many female executives that I meet, she had left the financial planning to her husband. I had to do a full analysis to be able to tell her what the next steps would be. To my absolute relief and delight, her husband had planned carefully towards retirement and had taken out well thought out policies, including an education policy that covered both children in private school up until the age of 21. I got to tell this grieving mom that everything was going to be okay. Her husband's careful planning had provided her with a silver lining that she needed to pick up the pieces again. But the greatest gift that you can give your family is not only proper planning, but proper planning as a partnership where both parties know what to do when the time comes. 
Unfortunately, there are often scenarios where there is nothing that we can do due to uninformed decisions made with estate planning. An elderly academic woman, let's call her Frances, as all names have been changed for privacy policies, had worked at both local and offshore universities. She had earned well during her lifetime as a professor and had saved diligently. When she passed, she left a will filled with good and honorable intentions, leaving her offshore estate to an offshore charity and her local estate to her family back home. Unfortunately, what Francis did not know was that estate duty is calculated on your worldwide assets, but paid from the local estate. Due to the size of her offshore estate, her family back home in South Africa was left with nothing. They even had to sell the primary residence to make sure that all the estate costs were covered. And although she had very good intentions with this will, her lack of consulting with a professional meant that the outcome was quite opposite to what she had originally intended. Do you know where your partner's will is? Do you know if you'll be financially secure if he passes? Do you know how you are married? And more importantly, do you know what those terms mean in the case of a divorce? We'd all love to believe that when we say I do, it's forever. But my job has taught me that it's not always the case and that planning properly now saves you a lot of heartache later. Watching females struggle in my office after the death of a partner or a divorce is heartbreaking. The one solid nurturing rock of the family crumbling over something that could have been avoided. I would hate for that to be you. So I challenge you today to empower yourself, your mom, your daughter, your sister by involving them in the family office wealth management experience. We're planning now in the good times as a partnership makes surviving the bad times just that little bit easier. I'm a woman too, and I know how hard it is to break bad habits, especially when it comes to money. So allow me to be that person that guides you towards financial security not only for the rainy days, but also for that holiday on the beautiful tropical island that you had always dreamed of for your retirement. Contact me on LinkedIn for your first full financial analysis.